let's dive into the Seattle Seahawks going into Middle America. And they are a two and a half point favorite at the Indianapolis Colts. Total sits at 49 and a half. Looks like Quentin Nelson's still going to be out, but apparently Carson Wentz is going to play. We think everything seems to be pointing that direction. I don't think it matters. I think the Seahawks have a bad taste in their mouth about the way that the season ended last year in the playoffs. I think that Russell Wilson wants to make sure that everybody forgets about all the drama that happened in the offseason between he and Pete Carroll and the front office and everything else. I I think Seattle is going to come out and kind of blow the doors off of them. Now, they don't do that to a lot of teams. And by blow the doors off of them, I mean two touchdown win. Like, that's how I'm seeing this game because I don't think that the Colts have the playmakers to be able to stay in the game. I, I'm trusting Pete Carroll. I'm trusting Russell Wilson, especially, you know, in a dome. Like, give me, give me Russ cooking in the dome all day. I will take the Seahawks. Even with the, the early kick and everything else for them, I'll, uh, I'll take that all day. Give me the Seahawks minus two and a half. Yeah, it makes me really nervous to <laughs> – I don't like Carson Wentz. I don't think Carson Wentz is good at football. But the rest of this roster for the Colts is really good. Okay, this defense was one of the best defenses in the league last year. Is there a world where this is just an ugly, slow, low-scoring game and the run game of, you know, Indianapolis can carry them? I don't know the answer to that. I think I'm with you. I think I would take Seattle in this game. I don't like it, but at the same time, man, I just – it's hard to get excited about Carson. It's hard to get excited for – for what they're doing with the Colts on off. I just feel like you just popped a bubble. Like, like I had all this excitement built up and, and he just let all the air out of it. As soon as you brought Wentz in. Yes. Yes. That's exactly how I feel. I don't think that this is going to go as swimmingly as everybody thinks. I mean, at the same time, like it, Seattle was an underdog before all of these injuries and everything else started happening. And it has shifted quite a bit. But I'm going to ride the shift here. It, it has not gotten up to a field goal yet. Like, I, I feel good about Seattle. I feel really good. I think the defense is going to look really good. Jamal Adams with his big old new contract. I think he's going to play well. I'm, I'm all in on it. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com. And if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.